So I have this snare drum that needs a little bit of love. This is that snare that came with that $40 drum set. And you can see that, I mean, it's shiny, you can see me in the reflection. But you can see that it's pretty dirty and not the cleanest. So cleaning a drum like this will go a long way in improving the look. And then just a quick little tip, whenever you take a drum apart, you wanna put all the separate pieces into a separate container. So that way there's less of a chance of you losing something. And then also when you put the drum back together, it'll be easier because you're not digging through a random pile of parts. So you might have noticed that I still have the throw off and the butt plate still on the drum. And I'll get to that in a second, but first let's look at what we need. The only things that you will need are Brasso, rubbing compound, some paper towels to apply it, and depending on how bad the drum is, you might need a Scotch-Brite pad for all the caked on crust. And when you put the drum back together, you will need some white lithium grease for the tension rods. This is also some pretty messy work, so I suggest you get some gloves. And also this is a good time to get new heads. So for the snare side, I have an Ambassador Hazy, and for the batter side, I have a CS Dot. And in the case of my drum, there is some adhesive residue, so I'll get that off with mineral spirits. And also there's a small dent where the throw off is, so I need a hammer. And of course, everything that I use will be listed in the description. So it's kind of hard to see on camera, but the bottom mount of the throw off is bent in. So most likely the person that owned this before me, they put the drum down and they put it on the throw off like that and it bent in. You can really see it now, that bulge right there. So I have the drum propped up on two two by fours and the throw off is going in between one of the holes in the leaf of my table saw. And now I'll just take the dead blow hammer and pound it back. Much better. So there's a whole bunch of tape on this drum, so I'm gonna start by getting off all this residue. Mmm, tasty. Now I give it the old scrub-a-dub with a brasso. stuff is strong. I'm open the garage. So after all that you'll notice that there's the swirl marks so we need to get off the residual. And pro tip, you should be using a lint-free rag, but I'm using this paper towel. And then even though Brasso says that it polishes, I find that you get a little bit better finish when you use a rubbing compound. So this step is completely optional, but I think it's definitely worth it. And then once you have it on, you just want to buff it out with a clean paper towel. Now that is shiny. So there's really no point in polishing up a drum if you don't do the rims, the hardware, and the lugs. So I'm putting the drum back together right now and for the tension rods, I'm using white lithium grease. A lot of people use Vaseline and a lot of people use WD-40, but you really shouldn't use that stuff. I have a full video about this if you wanna see more on why you shouldn't use that stuff. So be sure to check that out. So all I do is glob a little bit onto a bottle cap and then I'll dip the tension rod into that and then install it. Okay. 
And then also, I don't know if you noticed before, but this mount was missing a wing nut. So all I did was rob one of these from a uh, like a cowbell mount. So now I have a wing nut.